Hello friends. In this tutorial, we will learn about header files. We will see how to create and import the header files in our projects. Header files are also known as include files and have .h extensions. The purpose of these files is to hold declarations for other files to use. Typically, they are made to contain only declarations. You have been using Cout in uh, C++. Cout is only declared in the IO stream header, but actually it is implemented in C++ runtime support libraries, which is linked to your project during the linking phase. So the objective of header file is to separating the interface from implementation. So now we'll see actually how to make a header file and how to link with your project. So here you can see that uh, I have two folders on my desktop, project one and project two. So in project one, I will create one uh, project and also I will create one header file and header file I'll then I will be going to use in my project one. Then I will make one new project in project two folders. And then I will try to link that header file which I have created in project one in the project two. Let's see how to do this. So first we go to new project and then browse and I'll go to the desktop and search for the project one folder and here I have chosen the destination for my project. So you can see here this is project one on the desktop and the project name is also project one. Okay. Okay, so here we are. So just first I'll search for the solution explorer. You know, this is the area where you can find all the information about your project. So here this is source file is here. And here just go to right click, add a new item. And first we have to create one C file. Well, this is now ready. You can write here hash include your io stream and then i may be using c out and scene so i will write this c out and then again std and then i will write my function indb Okay, so in this function, I am just going to display a message. Let's say, hello friends. Wow, so this program is ready. Also, this is an integer type, means uh, the return type is integer. So you have to write return zero. As well, we want to see the output, so we have need to hold this console screen get the output okay this will hold the screen for you wow now so the program is ready and if you run this you can see yeah so far so good this is hello friends okay now i'm going to create one header file so i go to this this directory this header file right click new item and then go to this header file <laughs> oh, sorry then this is header file and uh, this header file you can see the name of the header file is header.h add and then here you can write some basic you know is include IO stream. Yes. And here I am going to make one class. Basically, we make header file to contain the declaration. So normally in header files we 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 create the classes and inside the classes we only declare the functions for that class. But because this is we are using for demo purpose, so here I am going to make a class and I will declare 
uh, let's say one or two function inside the class and also i'm going to define here itself let's say the class name is demo and inside the class i'm going to declare let's say one function void show this is the function which i have declared so in the actual uh, projects when you make big projects normally in the header file you only make the class and also you can just de only declare the functions and the actual definition will be in some other file but because this is for the sake of simplicity i am defining the function here itself outside the class so if you want to define a function outside the class the rule is you have to make use of a scope resolution operator so first you have to write the return type that is the void here and then the class name then scope resolution operator function name and then you have to write the function definition so just the function definition is simply um, say this is so function of header file Here I will write using std see out. Now this is ready. So now if you go to your this file source.cpp and here I want to use that class which I have uh, created in header file. So in order to make use of class, you have to make an object. So also one thing we have to keep here because in the class the default access modifier is a private and private you cannot access other than the class so here i have to make it public so that i can use this so function outside the class as well oh it's saying some error what is the error let's have a check mm. it's fantastic okay then go to source here and if you want to access any functions or any method of any class you have to do it with the help of an object so here i am going to make an object let's say d1 is an object of the class demo and here with the help of this object d1 i am accessing the so function but here you can observe that when you write like this it is showing some error demo because demo is undefined here this source.cpp is not able to identify what the demo is because we have not referred here. So here you have to instruct the compiler that demo is actually in the header file h e a d e r header dot h. So here you can see here now it's okay. Oh, it's in error. It's still error. Let's check what is the problem here yes because it's not allowed to write this angular bracket when you write angular bracket the meaning of this is that you are instructing the compiler to search the header files in the default directory but this header file you have created in the current directory so you have to write in double quotes double quote is a sort of instruction to the compiler that the header file is existing in the current folder where you are storing your project so now it's okay here you can see this is fine and uh, if you run this it's not showing the function here it's showing hello friend because of this and this function oh i did a mistake this i have to write after this yes now you can see yeah so here you can see this hello friend and then the function is called and this function is actually uh, referred from the header file so this is how we can make a function in header file and we can link this functions in our project now what i can do is this I have saved. I'll close my work. 
yes you can go here project one you can see here that in project one you have this project one folder and here you can see this header file is here header.h this is the file which you have created also you can notice here you can this is your source program now what i am doing is i am going to create one new project at a different location the new project empty project and now i go to browse and i'll search for a new folder that is project 2 and inside this project 2 i'll create a new project let's say the project name is project 2 and which is in the project 2 folder okay yeah so here you can go to view solution explorer you go to source file right click add new item c plus plus file and then add here is the editor you can write here hash include io3 and then you write here your main function void main So what I'm doing here is I am just trying to link the header file which I have created in the previous project. So if you see here how to link, we have some ways of doing this. So I will write here hash include and then within this double course, I just go to my folder project one. I go to the header file. This is the header file. I'll just check the path of this file so that this is the path so i'll just copy this path and go to my project and here i will write this path header dot h and in this i will create one object demo one demo d1 and with the help of d1 object i will access this show function so here the program is ready and if I run this you can see yeah okay so I will write here C in dot ignore you can write the entire namespace as well So now if I run this so here is the output so this is the header file which we have created in the previous project and we are able to link it this is one way of doing it the other way is you can go to your project and then you just copy this header file and go to your current folder where you had Saving your project. So we are doing in the project two folder. This is project two folder. So go to project two, go to project two folder, and you will find here your source file is here, and then you will just copy this header file here and then go back to your project. And now there is no need to write this full path because the header file is now existing in your current folder. Simply you just delete this and if you run it again see how it is doing yeah it's looking fine we are getting the output again now what i want to do is i want to use this angular bracket with my header file now if you want to do like this then you need to configure this header file with your uh, these uh, visual studio directory so for this you need to do some, some configuration what is required is you just go to your project 2 folder go to project 2 and locate your header file this is my header file and just 
check the path of this header file. So the path of the header file is this. Copy this path and then go back to your project. And here, just go to the project properties and go to on this left hand side, you will find this configuration properties. Here, you go to C, and here you will find uh, general. And in general, you will find this additional include directories. Here, you paste the path. So, here, this is the path of your header file. Click on OK. The moment you click on OK, you can see now there is no error coming. And now, if you run this, Uh, it's working fine. So that means if you want to use Angular bracket or if you want to keep the header files in the default directory, you have to do some configuration. What the configuration is required, I'll just repeat again. Go to project, right click, go to properties, go to configuration properties, go to C, go to general, and in additional input directories, you have to write the path here. So once you do, once you finish doing this, you will find that now your header files are accessible anywhere in your project. Also, sometimes you may get some linting error. Sometimes it's in, in, with some environment when you even if you add this header file in the addition directories, it may are not able to link with that. So in that case, you have to do, go to the project and then the properties, and then you have to go to linker, and in linker you go to the input. And with input, you will find one additional dependencies here. And here, if you go at the last, you will find this part additional dependencies. So, in case if you are finding some linking error, in that case, you just copy the path of the header file and paste the path here, and everything will work fine. So, hope now you have understood how to uh, create the header files and how you have to link the header files in different ways. So, enjoy programming. See you in next tutorials. Bye-bye.